And welcome to another, hell, the last episode of the Battletech Anime Series Fan Commentary. I'm JP Arbiter. And Wishes Arbiter. And this is episode 13, the series finale, Trial of Possession. Where, I gotta be honest, everything interesting happens, like, in the second half of the series when it is a... The final reckoning between Adam Steiner and, a and Nikolai Malthus, personally. Um... So, the, it's it's a great episode, it's a great way to finish things off, if you don't mind cliffhangers, which you'll see at the end. Um, it, it was kind of a shame to see the series cut so short, but uh, yeah, that, that was the way things worked. Um, so yeah, there. Mrs. Arbiter, this is, it, it's not the first time you've seen this whole series, but being able to reflect on it, have you enjoyed this so far? Oh, I love it. Is it too much of an insult to uh, Battletech canon in your mind? No, not at all. <laughs> it's for the time period, it fits. <laughs> it is 90s raw and condensed. Yeah. I was I grew up on cartoons, so this is kind of my bread and butter of <laughs> I've been waiting to take this jerk down for a long time. How many mechs do they have? So, Kylie switches to the Aero Fighter, and Sakamoto switches to the uh, to the battle suit this time. <laughs> Yet and again, I'll... the large cockpit. Mm -hmm. uh, those are very annoying. It is important to note that all of the all the major characters that have appeared in this series, uh, from the uh, from the Chief Elemental, Babe. The entire Strikers, Kristen Redman, Pytor, Malthus, and Ciro uh, all make an appearance. So, it, important to know that. The only people we're missing, uh, honest to God, is um, for Stad, who we haven't seen since Shadow Air, because he has been taken into custody, of course. Yeah. And then also uh, Victor Steiner, Davian, and Galen Cox, who, of course, are in the canon. So doing their yep. own thing. Again, the swipe card detonators. That just seems but, inconvenient. But, <laughs> hey, they just took out a star of Clan Max using minefields, okay? Yeah. <coughs> Ciro, there was a time when you would have called that a brilliant strategic maneuver. Somebody's safe. Franklin, Kylie reports no activity at the Academy, but I I'm still concerned. <laughs> and that's another mech down. The sound of the laser fire I like. I know. Sound design was actually one of the points of this where, uh, where the show was actually really brilliant. The missiles, the lasers, the PPC fire, the mech actuators whining. <laughs> and again, back to the enemy. Real smart. Important to note that is not Kristen Redman, though they regard her vault that vulture with the same level of uh Good thinking, Mr. Sakamoto. Of menace there. I love how the uh the infiltrator was visible when it was zoomed in, but everything else was empty. Yep, Franklin's dead. Stop the prisoners from returning to the dropship. Captain Ryder, you have left me no alternative but to vanquish you. <laughs> God, Ciro absorbed into the Falcons way too well. Come on! It's almost like he was a Falcon to start with. <laughs> I wanted to make you bondsman and train you in the way of the clan. But clearly you are not worthy of such an honor. Watch your step, Ciro. That's my friend you're shooting at. Huh? What a great time for my weapons to malfunction. At least she said malfunction and not jam. Yeah. Cruise missile! Thanks, Kylie. I know that. Yeah, that would have sheared the top half of the uh, Mad Cat off. 
Funny thing, the Mad Cat's bulbous front section, it was inspired by the B-52 bomber. Just think of this as another test you cannot retake, Cadet Kylie. Booyah! She straight up Van Damme kicked him. I had no idea you were so light on your feet. Can we uh, save the witty banter for later? The rocks of the inner sphere. You will release Mech Warriors, hero, and surrender yourself at once. Uh, Kylie, I think this calls for a tactical advance to the rear. <laughs> Forget them. We We're advancing in the opposite direction. <laughs> Andrew, pull back. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, engaging a uh, clan mech at point blank range is dangerous, but at the same time, I. I have personal stories about why an axe man to the head is dangerous. Yeah, you do. No, you don't know how much punishment their mech can take. Or how much punishment a hunchback 2C can dish out. Critical failure fifteen seconds. Well, at least I overheated somebody's mech. There's always the bright side. Oof! <laughs> and even some of the classic cartoons sounds like <laughs> plopping off. And so, battle of attrition. Things are not going well. And it's down to just two people. Three. Nikolai, what are you doing? <laughs> you were asking about the size of cockpits? Yeah. <laughs> Yet again, way too big. That was a love seat for crying out loud. You are mine, Adam Steiner. Mine. <clears throat> and yet again, he fires only his PPC. Which is so weird. And why would I stop while you are still breathing? Because I'm issuing a bachal, a formal challenge which you cannot reject. The time for bachals has long since passed. <laughs> you do not know. You do not know what you say. <laughs> and Redmond's down. I challenge you to a trial of possession for Somerset. If I win, the planet is mine. All clan forces will withdraw from the system and never return. And if I yep, win, here we are. I will deliver myself. Twelve minutes left in the uh, in the episode, and the gauntlet has been thrown down. But your precious strikers will, and they must become my bondsmen. I agree to your terms. Well bargained and done. <laughs> Under clan law, I must now select the form of engagement, and I choose to fight augmented in battle mech. Additionally, we will fight without radar or outside reconnaissance. Information is a form of ammunition you will not have at your disposal in this battle. Now you may select the location. <laughs> I choose the North Country. Are you sure it's A lot of planets have a North Country. <laughs> I trained in the North Country, remember? Not only in mech combat, but also in survival tactics. I should be fine. And so, that was a nice little, uh, realm of, uh, how, uh, how trials of possession work. Yeah. <clears throat> Issue the challenge, the challenge gets to choose the form, the challenger gets to choose the location. Challenger, challengee. Nice, no. Truth told, the awesome, an awesome should be able to pulverize a Thor, no questions asked. So do I, Hawk. So do I. Uh, the Thor clearly outmaneuvers even a modern awesome, but uh, but the awesome o overwhelmingly has durability and so firepower. So there's his inside. red versus green. Yep. <clears throat> Oof. Interesting. Speak of the devil. Oof. <laughs> that was a uh, that was at least a ten-story fall. Mm-hmm. Which sucked. Dreamed it would end this quickly. 
the only time that Thor uses missiles. <laughs> the only time he needed to, I guess? I don't know. He's such a terrible shot. I mean... Why isn't there a seatbelt? Why was he standing up? <laughs> Why isn't there a seatbelt? That seriously needs like a five-point harness. It needs a baby car seat. This is also the only time that the Thor ever jumps in EI. Hell, I think it's the only time a mech has jumped in uh, an enhanced imaging sequence in this yeah. series. Just as your precious strikers will be after I eliminate you. Never! <laughs> Enlightened. The cartoon never. Ding! He says never and then he turns his back on him. Well, that's bold. Yep. Oh, hey, trees. But you cannot hide forever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah, yeah, he can. You can hide for a while, at least. I'm not hiding, Malthus. I'm winning. Is this your way of winning? Actually, that is a really good shot, and it's a shame we didn't see more of those. You defeat your enemies when you cannot hit them. Why should I hit you when I only need to turn up the heat? Again, classic thinking of heat being what wins. Uh, battle mech fights, but the clans and double heat sinks made that so difficult. Particularly versus the snow, that would almost negate part of it. Speak of the devil? Snow to water. Now, sure, that cooled him off, but that was also could have seriously damaged or eliminated that Thor. Oh, easily. Oh, he loaded him with Infernos! I still remember the rulings of being partly in, partly in water who will cool, you, cool the mech. If heat sinks are, par are submerged. I yeah. Now, I have you. Does he? No! Yep. Also, that is the first time that uh, someone has referred to someone else as Freeborn. It was always a rat. Yep. Or scum or barbarian. <clears throat> and that's the and here's the thing. Yes, Adam has ejected from his mech, but the terms of the trial do mean that Malthus has not won until Adam is dead. That's true. So not when the mech is incapacitated. Big grin. Haha. <laughs> Too late. Seriously, you think that would do it? Granted, I think a forest collapsing wouldn't cause that much damage. I'd have to review the rule books on that. <laughs> Thank goodness that these clan mechs have such convenient handholds. Yep. So. Climber grips. Remember when we were commenting about the size of various cockpits? Yeah. Get ready for the master study in that. Hmm. I honestly think my college dorm room was smaller. <laughs> that is huge. I know, right? Holy crap. I mean, I expect it to be just enough where, the, where he would have ended up being injured by the blast because his seat was right there. Yep, he broke his wrist. And possibly hand. But, I mean, seriously, look at the size of that! <laughs> My lord. But it's big enough to fight in, like, for an MMA fight. That's pretty bad. I know, right? <laughs> oh, hey, they can snowboard! Let's go surfing now, every mech is learning how. Come on a safari with me. 
Yep. <laughs> Butt slide. Butt slide. And Malthus is should be dead from that fall. Should, but he's a glanner. I mean, that fall would kill anyone. But still, he's that... a clanner. Yeah. <laughs> he will pull the how the Hollywood or anime moment of I will not fall. I will fight you even though my bones are broken. I will not fall. Adam Steiner must be stopped, no matter the cost. Why do you keep calling us free birds? Because you were born of the chaos of natural breeding, random and formless. We true born of the clan were genetically designed to have enhanced strength and intelligence. You were born in a gene tank? These <laughs> creatures aren't even human. We are more. I'm pretty human. sure that anyone who was conceived by in vitro would like to have a discussion with Adam Steiner about that inherently prejudiced statement. Yeah, but it does put into question the idea of treeborn versus free birth and... and transhumanism and all that jazz. Yeah, I know. Should the clans be cons clan uh, warriors be? How many video games explore that? None. At least in the BattleTech universe, none. No, I meant other video games. Oh, plenty. Yeah. I mean, hell, Fallout 4 has that whole uh, synth thing going on. <clears throat> Alright, we need Europe's The Final Countdown to be playing at this point. Final Countdown. <laughs> oh, sweep the leg, Johnny. The music needs to be a lot more dramatic whenever there are mech battles. It's <laughs> too... I do not fall, free boy. Not... It's too nothing, you know? are overrated. You know, that one's dangerous because it's red hot. And... He's an idiot. Zap. And that wouldn't just hurt because of electrocution, but remember, there is circuitry running throughout his nervous system, too. As indicated by the glowing. Now get off my planet! You... Could have let me perish. Call me sentimental. Well <laughs> bid and well won. Star Captain Kristen, the trial is lost. Begin the evacuation. Understood. Goodbye. So you think at this point that there's actual respect between Malthus and Redmond? I will honor our agreement. I don't to know. The letter. Or is there too much bitterness from battle? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, let's keep in mind, there's about to be a you sneaky son of a bitch moment. From, uh, from this, but it, it's... <clears throat> uh, you'd think the whole planet would be here to thank you. <laughs> about that. I don't get it. Where is everybody? <laughs> Why all the long just Space it's Jesus, Captain much. Black Thunder, the the computer to... nerd, and the scrappy punk. Malthus said something about when you bid for the planet. You never said anything about the people. Aside from us, they took every living soul. Including Andrew? You cheeky I son of a bitch. Our agreement to the letter. Major. Malthus! This is not over yet! I will free my people, no matter what it takes. No, you won't. <laughs> now our mutant battles begin. And thus ends Battletech the Animated Series. No second season, just an epic cliffhanger. And no way to make a second season, because there's the... Cause Nobody knows who has the rights to it. I know, really. And, and and that's what I would do if uh, if I was going to make another set of this. Is that I would just continue, particularly since the 3050 period seems to be really popular these days. I would just continue where this left off. Make a second season. 
about the man who would be Archon. Personally, I want to make it anime style and see what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> they need to really see Shorty, Shorty Steiner Davy in action. Indeed. But uh, I think we will be uh, talking about that in a arbitration DLC episode for Somerset Strikers in retrospect. So uh, with that, I am uh, I'm JP Arbiter. I'm Mrs. Arbiter. And we thank you for uh, joining us on these uh, 13 episodes. And uh, we'll, uh, we hope uh, you enjoy the rest of our content, uh, both on our YouTube channel and on... Uh, on um, arbitration. On Arbitration, your last word in Battletech Talk. So uh, be seeing you, kids.